hello guys uh, welcome back to the angular material tutorial series last time we added the angular material to the angular material angular js 6 project and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can add the navigation template to the existing angular 6 project so let's get started so to add the navigation template to our existing angular material project let's go to the documentation again and see what we have to add here to add, add the navigation schematics what we have to do is we have to copy this command into our terminal and paste it so this command consists uh, this command is ng generate at the rate angular material material nav name and we have to give the name of the component since this is a navigation component so i'm going to give it a name my nav and press enter now what this will do is this will get the navigation template and add it to our project which we can see here as my nav here so to use this my nav in our project uh, we will just comment the button that we have added in the previous video and add another tag as my nav and press save okay now let's refresh the page now since our project is running here it should have automatically refresh but here we can see, here we see that there is an error so as of today 24th may 2018 uh, there consists of an error issue with the navigation template provided by the angular material uh, for which uh, i found a solution so to uh, to solve the issue what we have to do is we have to go to my nav dot component dot ts and instead of return uh, instead of observable of breakpoint state we have to use boolean boolean uh, which will solve the issue here and also uh, add a bracket here bracket with here and here And saving this I would automatically restart and here we can see that we have easily integrated the navigation schematics in our existing angular template so as so what we can do is uh, we can add this button component and that we have added in the previous uh, previous tutorial into our side nav side nav by adding it in between the tags and commenting it now to reflect these changes inside what we have to do is we have to go to mynav component.html and below this mat closing tag of mat dash toolbar we have to add ng content tag uh, which will take that button and reflect it in the content section of that application application which we can see here now this navigation component is completely responsive uh, we can check it by making our browser smaller and when we reach a certain breakpoint what it does it it collapses and by clicking this hamburger button we can easily open the uh, drawer nav and also uh, close it by clicking outside this is how easily you can add navigation schematics to your existing angular project Thanks for watching and see you in next video for adding the dashboard schematics. Thank you.